Are you there? I am. Hey, Rick. Thanks. How you, how you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. How are you? Good, good. What's going on? What can I help oh, you out with? Yes, I'm so excited. Um, I actually just watched a few videos uh, about land, about wholesaling land. And okay. the last one I saw that you did was great. Um, you know, you spoke about where to find, you know, these these um, plots of land. And um, it was, uh, I forgot the name of the list, but it was uh, like a different website and stuff. But my question is in regards to the pricing and how to come in with uh, a good a good offer to the seller um, that's going to really work, like basically a comp. Uh, and that is where I'm kind of um, curious as to knowing more about that because you don't have the house you're looking at the land mm -hmm. um you, uh, let's say you find a good area you know there's been some cash sales in that area you've done that analysis this is a a good spot then um going into the details of a comp of land can you tell me a little bit more about that yeah so um are you new to wholesaling or you've done wholesaling before and you're switching the land or? No, I'm, I'm new to wholesaling. Okay. So here's what I tell you. First and foremost, get a good foundation through freewholesaling.com because in my opinion, land is easier because you just take it the is. house off. So knowing that. So the, the, the biggest challenge we have with land, and by the way, I didn't start out doing land. I did it by accident through my regular wholesaling is it's not nearly as easy to comp. It's just the truth. It's it's really raw dirt. So depending if it's an infill lot or an overgrown lot, depending on the size of the parcel and what state it is, is the only way you can dictate the price is what a cash buyer for vacant land will pay for it. And honestly, that is the hardest. In my opinion, it's harder to chase down the cash buyers than it is local to locate people willing to sell their land. What I love about people who sell land, they're not very emotionally tied to it. They don't care. So I have personally bought land with this grand plan and 10 years goes by and I'm like, well, that plan went all the, that plan went to hell. And I'm like, I remember just looking around my wife, I go, what am I going to do with it? And I sold it. I had an investor literally knock on my office door, go, listen, I'll buy that track of land. I was sitting on it 10 years paying the taxes. I was getting annoyed with it and made me offer. Now I thought the offer was insane. I thought, so he paid me three times what I paid for it. Here's the funny part. This is recent, by the way, um, two and a half years ago, he turned around and made a $300,000 profit on my land because I was too lazy to figure out what the highest and best you, I listen, I bought it for a personal reason. I didn't have a business plan with it. I was going to build like these custom houses on it and it just never worked out. And he just asked, I said, sure. I'll, he goes, would you take this price? I said, yeah, put it in writing. And then uh, a day later, they presented a contract. He funded it, did everything I asked me to. And then I went back and I asked him how did it work out. And I'm happy for him. But here's the thing is, he already has somebody ready to buy that property when he approached me. So he already knew exactly what his buyer would pay, their bottom line limit. And he just pushed me to my lowest limit. And I put it together. What I'm telling you is, I kind of didn't care. It wasn't a big deal to me. It wasn't a priority. And I was getting tired of getting letters from the city about how I had to clean the property up. So all land deals always build around the cash buyers. It is the most challenging part of that part of the business. If you can find people that will buy in a proximity area and you can figure out one, then you can take down 10. That's the hardest part. End of story. I could go to any town and city and do the exact same thing I just told you. People are like, how hard is it to find motivated sellers with land? I go, actually... The emotional attachment's not there. The problem is chasing down these cash buyers. And by the way, cash buyers switch every six months in all these markets. So if you're relying on buyers from two to three years ago, I promise you they're not around anymore. That's it. And then you can reverse wholesale land much easier than you can a property because you don't have all the pitfalls. You don't have to deal with that. You don't have to worry about the cash buyer meeting with the seller and all the things that we worry about in wholesaling as opposed to you could do it virtually from anywhere. So what state are you in? I'm in California. Yeah. So like you can pick anywhere you want in the United States because you don't have to get in your car and ever look at this land. What you have to do is get data to see what people will pay for it and how many buyers are in like that given market. And it's a pain in the butt. And if you can get through that, you can do it. I've got at least 10 friends. All they do is land all day long. Here's the secret. They know exactly where to buy and they know exactly what their buyers will pay for it. In the beginning, they were clueless and they just, they were all over the board. And then they found a market that started winning. And then once you have data, then you can scale it. And that's all you do with it. If you like to talk to people, but what I love about land is there's that emotional connection is kind of removed. 
and it makes it easier. And then I don't have to deal with all the inspections. All you have, you don't have to deal with repairs with land either. Right now, That's typically right. on the smaller deals, you're going to make less money. And some people get turned off by it, but like, don't limit yourself. I do land all the time. It just, I have to shift the focus a lot more to the buyer than I do the motivated seller because in land, they don't even have to be like crazy motivated when it comes to single family properties. They do have to be motivated to put a deal together. I always stand by that with land. You make someone the right offer right there and they say yes. And you send them a contract and they sign it and you got someone that'll pay 10, 20, 30 grand more. You just put up a great deal without like the traditional wholesale fight. But the energy you're going to have to do is put into the intel of the cash buyers for that given area. And then every time you move an area, you got to do it all over. And it takes, it does take manpower to do that. And it's exhausting. So, but it works very well. What do you mean by manpower? Are you saying I mean, that? It takes, you got to make a lot of phone calls, a lot of connections. You got to call a lot of realtors and right. it's just, it all takes time and energy to do that. So got it. I would like to tell you, you could just click on these websites or go to these social media groups and get it. But the reality is you're actually going to have to put in the hard work and call these people and you have to follow up with phone. It's just a pain in the butt. It really is. I'm not going to lie to you. So it's, it's a different kind of satisfying, but it works. And if you do it long-term and you can find a market and find that niche, you can run with it. An example, just, what was it? 2020 during, you know, that great epidemic, I pushed hard on land because we had some limitations with inspections for obvious reasons. And I did this just locally in Port St. Lucie. I went out and contracted 32 pieces of land and I sold 15 of them all in a 90 day period. Never left my desk. But here's what you guys don't understand. I had three people helping me call all day and like we were putting all the data together and I worked with realtors. So realtors are actually an asset sometimes with land because they can help you find cash buyers to buy those properties. So um, it's always there. And then I love going to other markets and do it. And once I get some intel, I can figure out how to do it. I love to dive. From a virtual standpoint, land is absolutely amazing. And especially if you're in the state of California. But we teach you how to do it all in like freewholesaling.com. You're just going to spend more energy chasing down the cash buyers than you are on the actual sellers. Awesome. Thank you, Rick. I okay. appreciate no it. No problem. You got it.